My name's Phil Hart. I'm an engineer in the water industry in Melbourne during the day and as much as I can a photographer and astronomer under the stars at night. One of the things I've always loved about taking photos at night and particularly taking photos of the sky at night is what you capture in the image doesn't look anything like what your eye can see. So for me, even after doing this for 20 years, it's always a surprise for me what I see on the back of the camera. You never know exactly what it's going to look like. I talk about astrophotography being quite complicated telescopes, equatorial tracking mounts, very long focal lengths, very sophisticated, quite complex and, and quite expensive equipment. What I do a lot of now I call night sky photography where it's just taking a, a tripod and the camera out and shooting very much location based sort of shots. The first thing you need for night sky photography is a sturdy tripod. I use a solid ball head that just makes it easy to point the camera at any angle up in the sky. Um, but whatever you've got should be okay. Once you've got the camera and the lens set up on the tripod, the thing that you need to work out is to get the right focus. There are several ways that you can find the right focus point at night. One of the easiest is to just use the camera on autofocus and focus on something in the distance during the daytime and then switch back to manual focus and just use that same focal point at night. If you haven't focused during the daytime, you can also autofocus at night on a bright street light or the moon if it's up, but generally with a wide angle lens it won't be able to autofocus on the stars themselves. So I'm in manual mode on the camera. I've dialed in an exposure of 30 seconds. It's about the right compromise between getting a lot of light in the camera, but not having too much trailing of the stars. And I want a really wide aperture, f2.8 if your lens will go that fast, otherwise as wide as you can. If you're shooting in RAW, the ISO setting is not that critical because you'll be able to process the photo afterwards, but it's really convenient to be able to see clearly what you're shooting. So if you are under dark skies, I typically use an ISO setting around 3200, and that will give you a good bright image on the back of the camera and a good final result. If you're shooting in RAW, obviously the white balance setting on the camera doesn't matter too much, but I like to have it set to sunny white balance or daylight white balance, because then whatever colours I see on the back of the camera are a, a true record of the colours of the night sky. To get a star trail effect where the stars move through the sky, we can do that by taking a single long exposure in bulb mode on the camera. So in this case, I'd switch the mode dial to bulb, and now I'm going to grab a timer remote and plug that into the bulb socket on the camera. A good starting point for a star trail exposure is about 15 minutes, aperture of f4, and an ISO around 200. I can program in the time on here, or I can simply push the shutter and lock it there for that 15 minutes and then release the photo after that. There's another style of night sky photography that we can tackle with a digital SLR, which is capturing time-lapse videos. To do this, we want to capture a sequence of night sky scenes and roll them together over a long period of time and then render that to a video file. So to do this, I'm going to go back to the exposure settings for night sky scenes. So 30 seconds around an aperture of 2.8 and I'm going to push the ISO back up to 3200. The key difference here between taking a single night sky scene image is that we want the sequence to roll while we lock the shutter down. So we need the drive mode to be on continuous shooting and now for as long as this cable is locked down it's going to keep rolling one photo after another. Digital SLRs are amazing today in how well they work in low light and they can record great scenes of the sky at night. So I hope you get out there and have fun shooting under the stars.